Uh, hi everyone, so I'm here recording this video. I wanted to make a really short video but I don't think that it's going to be really that short considering the nature and the scope of this uh, subject matter which I'm going to talk about. And uh, I believe I've talked a bit about this before but uh, there are some other things that I don't really say and it was only realized the realization as I actually went to the counselor today morning okay around 10 30 yeah and then we talk until around i think 12 something yeah and then it, it just it just kind of realized it just kind of dawned on me and i think the counselor himself he's taking over temporary from the uh, psychotherapist who's now on maternity leave so he said some things about uh, you know taking over interim and he's leaving off as well so uh yeah so the, the thing was this um we were talking about my situation you know there are a few things that i want to handle and to you know get over i was telling him about getting you know flying monkeys again like still having flying monkeys non-stop they keep on coming back over and over and over again and you realize that those people whom you thought were your friends turns out to be actually they have been converted to the side of the narcissist despite the fact the groomer despite the fact that it was so many years ago yeah, so ridiculous these people are nefarious but 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 you know that's it i just kind of realized this thing um this is a very very serious thing that i'm going to talk about today when i was talking about it and uh, so you know if you feel that you're very triggered and you don't want to talk about it or you, or you don't want to listen you know you can just switch off but uh i just want to you know talk a little bit about this issue because to be honest i felt very relieved much more relieved than because it's been on my mind since 2016, 2017, and you know that the means by which uh, I tried to really, really cut off all these people, but you know, it wasn't always working out, it, always, it wasn't really working out that much, and you know, I, I know that this might actually end up, like, if, if it gets into the hands of those people who were the perpetrators, they might retaliate against me and try to, you know, destroy me, just for telling the truth, but uh, this is just the, way, just the way it is, I've been quite, uh, I've been very very kind and very tolerant but but I think that I I won't I won't I won't I can't I can't do this anymore. You know, for the sake of my peace of mind and the fact that I need to really recover and live a life that is really my own, okay? Without people trying to destroy the peace and the abundance that I could have, okay. So you know what okay, what am I just saying about this? Uh you know I was halfway through I was talking to him about, you know, recovering from all this uh, PTSD, the abuse and everything. Then the conversation just stopped half halfway through. I think I was talking, and then I just told him about this episode of this man, uh, this 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 man now that was the, now man, but uh, when it happened to him, he was like barely about sixteen or seventeen. He was in polytechnic when it happened, so he barely became an a legal adult when it happened, and uh, he was talking about his case of being uh essayed, okay. So uh, I, you know, like with YouTube uh, algorithms where the certain words get get flagged, I can't just, you know, simply um, just bring out all these words about, you know, whatever. But uh, of course, thankfully, I didn't get grape, okay? But uh, even then, it doesn't mean that it's not an S, a form of essay, what happened to me. Um, I told him, you know what, this, 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 this boy or this man back then uh, legally and uh, who just turned out he talked about his experience and how you know when he went back home you know he was a uh, essay but he tried to hide it but his grandmother was the one who first um, asked him what did what happened to you what did they do to you um, and and it was like I told I told him you know this is basically what my mom did did when one of the nights when I wasn't actually at home I I, I went out I stayed out uh, I mean a Supposedly, I stayed over at a so-called friend's place, but it wasn't that safe because at the, that so-called friend's place, because that friend actually, uh, let's just say that this friend turned out to be a flying monkey of that, uh, of the former groomer, and I, I believe I've told you about this before, he's also one of the groom. it's a grooming episode. In my and and he not only was he a friend or acquaintance of the groomer, he actually was involved with the groomer as well, 
and I didn't know and at the point in time you know the thing is like when he tried doing stuff like touching me and even uh, 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 trying to molest me basically okay um, I thought that it was it's, it's not it's not, it's not something like you I was like I, I, I kind of like a wince in back in shock and it was like why do they do that like I'm not interested in it but and I told the counselor oh wait, wait you never told me about this now I know why you're telling me about that so-called photographer why why you actually hated him so much so he actually really did this thing like tried to essay you oh uh, yes and then my and the counselor asked me okay okay Kevin just 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 you know hold on for he because he was quite surprised and that, that finally after like you know eight years after that event and he asked me when was this was this before you met the groomer or was this after you met the groomer i said it was actually a few months after i met the group after the the it ended the, the, the whole thing with the, the discard by the groomer and and he was like oh dear kevin you now i know why you are so have suffering from so much ptsd it was compounded by this issue he said this is like he said you know that generally in these cases we would have called in the police and and to you know protect the ones who are the survivors and victims of all this uh, SA and um, um, sexual abuse, but but he said our physical abuse, but but he said um, did, what did he do to you? Did he did he did he uh did, did he involve any penetration? I said no 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 he didn't dare to do it with me, but he was very outright in the way he tried to actually try to you know like cling and, and you know my body was like always whining because I I'm. For fucking sake, I am not fucking gay, okay? And and the thing was this. Then then he said, "What did he do to you? Did he do things like uh touching your those 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 important parts and to get you to you know ejaculate mm. and stuff?" And I said, "Uh, yeah." And it's not even something that I totally enjoy. And it's like I felt that it was so disgusting, but I was so taken aback, and I was like, I wanted to you know get out of it, but I couldn't get out. You know that society will probably guess. I say, why can't you just leave? It's like, you know what I told when I told him. He said, you know what this is like. Uh, in the case of like you know people who are you know right in right in front of a so called oncoming truck, what do mo- what do most of us do? We freeze. It's a very common response. The freeze response, as compared to the fight or flight or even form response, because we just we just go catatonic when it comes to such things and he said it's not your fault if it happens that the fact that you just froze or you whines because you really wanted to just get out of it but the dynamics are not to your advantage and because ask me where were you i was in the so-called studio or the place the home of that so-called photographer but but it was it was really horrible and i'm i know that this is like if it gets out that person is gonna like come after me or whatever but you know what I've always said? He's like he he's, he has the name of that stupid in the moniker of some Greek, the Greek god of uh, art and music on the sun. So so what? You are no artist. You are actually a rapist. You even if you didn't grape me, you actually end up essaying me. And you know one thing was this uh, that that very night I I was he asked me do you stay around when it happened? I think it was a Saturday. If I I, you know the one thing is when it happens your mind will suddenly dissociate. It's so horrible. And my friend said, did, did anything happen to you? I said, no, I don't think that, uh, it wasn't just like, I, I didn't get penetrated or whatever, th- thankfully, because that that person was not exactly, uh, uh, he didn't, let's just say that he didn't play that m- aggressive male role. He's always that feminine role. And for someone like me, you know, I'm, I'm, I am very, I fight back when I'm actually antagonized. I don't like such people, you know. I know martial arts, I can break your freaking back if you try to touch me. But, you know, at that point in time, why I just froze, it was just, it, it was like, I don't think it contributed to my so-called PTSD as much as the groomer episode. But the feel, the fact that I went through that, you know, at the end of it, he asked me, what do you feel? How, he obviously didn't feel good. I said, no, no, I felt violated. I felt very unclean. And I actually, you know, like, I can't remember how to describe this, but can you imagine, like, I was trying so hard to actually, after I left that person's place after the stay, the stay over, I, I realized that basically, he was trying to contact me still, okay? And it's not only that, he tries, was still trying to cozy up and be a friend, but uh, after that thing happened, I realized, oh, you know what? Uh, I told myself, I better protect myself from now on because if I don't, this person will take advantage of me and he will probably do stuff like reporting back to the groomer and everything and now that everything is like a you know they call it a cluster f-u-c-k it is a cluster f-u-c-k okay 
they are all related to each other and they are all fellow groomers and fellow predators. It's so disgusting. And he, and he said, do you, do, I said, told him, but the problem is, even if I call in the police, it is not going to work because you know why? That that predator, that, that person who essayed me, okay, he did not, he, he was actually, you know, like there was a police investigation or charge against him for actually graping someone and that was uh, not me but someone else or some other guy that was like uh, according to what I heard from one friend then uh, years I uh, just beginning of this year or last year end of last year and and the thing was that you know the thing is he goes after guys regardless of their sexuality and the thing is this he actually supposedly really graped that person and the person brought a charge against him it was not the first the first charge you could he already had been like undergoing police investigation for unauthorized use of models pictures and i was like what kind of pictures probably new pictures or whatever but it, it, just just the show of it that the whole fact that he was doing that and he got away all the time okay the the the, the graping case that he had with some against some, with someone with someone was dismissed very summarily because it's very very hard to actually prove it uh, for, for guys as compared to good women and and not just that he had someone you know back then he was the photographer for manhunt Manhunt Singapore, can you imagine? He actually managed to get people in high places, that lawyer then, to actually get him off the hook, okay, of all these cases. So can you see how nefarious these people are? I I can't I can't I can't say anything other than that. You know, this is really disgusting. But when I told the counselor that thing, he was like, oh no, it's like he wanted initially to call in the police just to, you know, to protect me, but I said no 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 no. This is like Eight years ago and it's not causing he said sometimes he, he's very hesitant to to classify it as trauma because he knew that i don't i do i myself i don't classify as trauma compared to the the incident with the groomer but but the fact that it occurred right after the 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 grooming incident ended it, it's just like uh yeah it's just like weeks after the thing had happened and then everything you realize that i told him you know this is like groom is this basically grooming and uh, attempted essay but the only the only thing was that these people I, I tried very hard to to sort of like you know shake these people off and give him other excuses you know when he asked me to like meet up and stuff like stay overnight his place i just i just knew i just knew i had to find some reason so i said uh, I, i'm very sorry i can't do this because uh, at the time i i I work at a day set a day job in a center, you know, an education center. I deal with children, with with uh, you know, young young teenagers, and I, if I do this thing, this is not very good reflection of my job. I can't do all this. I can't take any new pictures. I can't do this. Okay, and that managed to actually uh you know hold him off because he didn't just want to shoot body profile pictures. He wanted to shoot me in total nude. Okay, like. As in, you know, nude, 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 as in with the frontal thing. And I said, no, I don't do this. I don't do this because I can't. But they are very persistent, get it? You know, when, when you end up in a situation, I I kind of think that it was like a karma thing when, when, when the police went after him for that case about the unauthorized use of models pictures. He probably disclosed that somewhere on some platform, which I don't really know which platform, but... But he probably did it, and then you know, guess what? He went into hiding from the law by deleting everything, including his Instagram account. Okay, but now he's back again. He's back again. Okay, and uh, I think I named him more or less who he is. You know, the Greek god of uh, the sun, the art, the whatever. You know, and um, that name plus the word art and based in Singapore. Okay, uh, he. It's really, really disgusting. And the more I think about it, you know, you just made me realize when I told the counselor, he said, is it like uh, the counselor asked him about his name and 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 and, and also the, the, the brand of that so-called brand, alleged brand, although it's not really a brand. It's like, you know, in Chinese, they say, Gua yang tou mai go ro, as in you're hanging up a goat's head, but you're actually selling dog meat. So uh, the saying is that, uh, you know, basically it's a false front. His photography is a false front for him to actually basically shoot, shoot, good looking or at least you're not good looking at least muscular guys and then use a chance to use a lens to so-called essay them through the lens and not through the lens even with his hands and everything else and i was like oh wow this is like he said this is very serious like and 
but he asked me like uh is that now i think i know why he said he said you took years to actually share about this because uh, you know we talk about me too movement and everything but now there's men too men too movement so like the thing is this it's not just women who go through all these things with sa it's actually men too and the thing is this the the perpetrators need not always be women sometimes and most of the time sometimes some of them are actually men okay and even gay men okay you know terry cruz as i said came forth about a thing and but no one really believed him people laugh at him they think what's a big guy doing like being s8 but he was indeed s8 and people laugh and laugh and calling him a whim a wussy but he's not you know when it happens it happens and even no matter how muscular how strong how big you are it can still happen to you and and it's like that's where the, where the grooming comes in you don't expect it when it happens you know that's why i like i wins i told i told i told that counselor and the counselor was like oh now he, i can't i can't understand what's going but he said he said like i can't know why you you kept quiet for years and why you why you don't want to actually pursue any legal action because he said it's very hard to prove all these motives in court in a legal law of court so it's not sim- as simple as why didn't you just walk away because no, no we are on someone's home turf tuf they are so-called territory and they can do anything okay they can do anything because they are very manipulative people you know regardless of whether they are charming or not they can use everything okay that they have okay they can you know beg you they can pretend they are sorry they can uh do everything okay so and i can't realize this you know when i told him when i it's not so much that i i blame my i i don't blame myself per se when it happened but because you know this is why i i didn't realize that he had ulterior motives and that's why i actually tried very hard but you know the fact is that the very next day as i said my mother you know even the day itself and my mother when was it i think it was a sunday i i had my i had a i had my sister my younger sister calling not calling me leaving a message on my phone to say you know mom is actually very worried for you uh she said you're not at, at home um and and she's wondering wondering what wh- whether you're okay i know that basically it's not that i'm i'm not okay but neither am i really really okay okay because i mean nothing really happened to the extent of me being great but but even that is a form of sa and you know the thing is this in the right mind you know i mean i mean i'm in the right mind and i knew that it was not right okay but I, there's nothing that i can do and and i could i could do then you know like what could i do and 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 so you know when 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 it happened, you know my my I kind of realized this now in retrospect after thinking about it. I, I told I told I told a few friends and a few people. M- mothers really know very very well when they are you know their children. I mean not narcissistic mothers but normal mothers, neurotypical mothers. My mother sensed that something was not right, and she actually called my sister to actually call me or to message me to check on me. You know, my first younger sis. I had to so-called allay my sister saying, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. But as in, I mean, yes, I'm fine in the sense that I didn't get grape, but I was indeed S8 and it wasn't fun, okay? I had to, now that I kind of think about it, even no matter what, no matter what, I had really had to start learning my Taekwondo again to break all these people's bones for trying to touch me because I don't stand for it now, okay? And, and I realized that it was so disgusting okay it was so so disgusting okay but you know one thing is this society will ultimately gaslight and say you know why didn't you just walk away but it's not something that you can just simply walk away from because there are certain things certain dynamics involved okay there are certain things involved and so far you know i have like i told i told that counselor you know i have one friend when he heard about that he actually got so angry not at the person who actually essayed me or the aggressor but he was angry at me for what i did nothing and he said as long as you call in the police and he blocked and ghosted on me for what am i that dirty because i was being assaulted kenny low you are such a douche 
full of your self-righteousness. Why are these people like that? I had no idea. Some people had actually asked me, you know, this Kenny Lowe, this friend or former friend of yours, why is he such a douche to you? I had no idea. Maybe he's jealous or maybe he's not. He's always making a lot of snide remarks even about other things in my life. And I wanted to, you know, like, you know, one time I want to just took mirror and say, even one friend had asked me this, one friend asked me, this good friend, he just said, uh, so has Kenny Lowe shot with uh, that, that photographer before? No, he is short and pudgy and he has a lot of scars on his face, which make him, which render him basically not suitable for any kind of photo taking, okay? So the, the question is, why is he such a mean, mean person to me? I think it was just a whole sense of self-righteousness. It's like basically, you know what? I'm better than you now. I'm so happy. I'm, I think that it just proves that this is the thing with this. You have a lot, a bunch of these people who are narcissistic and they don't tell you that they are narcissistic, but they show their true colors when you are in a situation that actually compromises your safety and your security. And that is when they show their true colors. You know one thing in retrospect now that I look upon, upon this, oh, I only realized so only those few people who understood it were my friends, okay? Those people who did not understand it, they just keep on judging me and or even ghosting on me. It just shows who they are. They are very shallow and very selfish idiots, okay? And I don't want even to say call them a bastard or whatever, but they are selfish idiots and maybe even bastards. And you know it's something that I can't, I can't, I, I'm... I, I mean, now I can process it because I know that some people are inherently selfish. And and it's like, I actually confronted one so one friend for this, you know. He said that I was, maybe I was negative to cause Kenny Lowe to actually go on me. I said, no, this is not the case. The case was a case of SA. And the friend eventually apo apologized for that. But but even, you know what, when when such things happen, you know what they say in in the, that, that, that song with Beyonce and uh, Lady Gaga. You know what they say about trust? Trust is like a mirror. You can fix it if it's broken, but you can then that's when Lady Gaga's said, character said, but you can still see the cracks in the mother reflection. Okay? So I I really can't get past that thing, okay? And and the thing is this, I now you know that I have to get I think now that the thing has actually come out into the light for the counselor, he had he told me, you know, I have to let your psychotherapist knows know about this because this is a very serious issue. Because you did you tell does she know about it? I said she knew she knew somewhat about it, but she didn't know the extent of what exactly happened per se. Uh because she she kind of realized that it wasn't traumatizing me as much as the groomer episode. And I said and he and he said, Okay, but 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 you you still need to let her know. We'll uh we'll wait till she comes back from her maternity leave and when she has uh you know successfully delivered her baby. Um, yeah, I say I I'll just let her know after that, and um, and and I mean to begin with, there are not that many many people in that center who are trained with EMDR, and he himself is also like you know leaving soon. That's what he told me. He told me that uh you know I'm going to get someone like to replace my thing who is actually trauma informed as well, who is into trauma work, and I want I want him to also know your case and whatever, but <sighs> just make me realize. There are some people out there who don't mean good things for you. They are really nefarious. They are evil. Okay, so um, you know we have to watch out. Now I think we can't we can't just slack on the thing. We need to do certain things. Like for me, you know, I'm a, I'm a big guy. I'm considered quite muscular, but I still couldn't protect myself back then. Can you imagine? I was way bigger back then. I was like maybe seventy eight to seventy nine kilos. Now I'm only seventy or seventy one at the most. And the and and the thing is, this is not. Uh, it's not so much just about your size or your 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 build, but it's about whether you like you know mentally and emotionally you're able to start putting down the thing saying, Don't you dare try this on me, that kind of thing. Okay. So um anyway, um I'm just gonna go off and I have to yeah, I have to go and prepare some stuff tomorrow. I'm meeting my some other colleagues, but um yeah, this is really, really something that is cause for concern. And the thing I realized after this, you know, my, I think we all, it's time for us all, you know, to really start learning some self-defense and protecting ourselves. I'm going to build back all my size and not just my size, but I'm going to make sure, make sure that I know how to protect myself, lay out my boundaries. Now that this has happened, you know, that now that I'm actually able to say, I can say this, I've been doing that a long time ago, but you know what? I realized that this is like after saying it i felt so relieved but at the same time while feeling really i said why did i take so long to share my experience of sa this was not a very good thing to say okay but 
he asked me at the end of it, oh, oh, I mean, do you feel like, oh no, why should I say that? But I said, no, 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 I don't feel that way. It's not, I mean, I know most people would feel shame, but for me, it wasn't shame because I think society gaslights us, victims of that uh, essay, but it's not about the shame, it's about the fact that we need to be authentic and only then can we find the space to recover and to heal from all this, okay? Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope that, um, yeah, I mean, this doesn't just like, you know, basically make anyone phase out, but, but the person is still around. I said, the person is still around. There are people in high places helping them, and uh, I'm not able to get through, and it's very hard to prove anything. You know, motives, motives, motives. Okay. The law sometimes doesn't protect victims, you know, and survivors. That's the very sad thing, but it's always true that, that, that it happens. Okay, so anyway, that's it for now. Um, yeah, okay, I'm off. Bye-bye.